Now, I'd like to turn back to each of our speakers, though, and say thank you again for these excellent presentations and perhaps some final uh, key nuggets that take away you can leave with our attendees, uh, closing remarks you'd like to share and steps as we move towards the future. John, since you started us, uh, would you like to begin? Oh, sure. Uh, thanks. And uh, thanks again to my co-speaker, did a great job. She's very knowledgeable. It's a pleasure to be on the, uh, the program with her. Look, a um, couple things. One is trade secrets, as I mentioned at the outset, are really becoming more and more important. So don't think of them as this obscure sort of esoteric thing. Think of them as something that could be the lifeblood of your company and evaluate them at the same time that you evaluate uh, other forms of IP protection. The second is know your jurisdiction and your law, which may be stipulated in contract because they're not all the same, at least at the state level. And the third is be proactive if you are the owner or licensed user of the trade secret in terms of how you keep it a secret and what you would need to go to court to get an injunction to protect the trade secret. If you're scrambling to try to figure out what you had and where you had it and who, you, who said what to whom, you're going to be at a disadvantage. But if you have all your ducks in a row because of how you kept it in the paperwork and a good IT professional can say, yep, we kept it in this electronic storage situation and here's proof that it was taken, then you can go to court relatively quickly with some, some good evidence. And then on the damage side, as, uh, as uh, Ida so well explained, try to have as much objective evidence uh, as, as you can so it's not purely uh, speculative. Thank you so much, John Stone, for being with us. Ida, final thoughts from you and nugget our attendees can take away with them. Yeah, so I guess the takeaway on my end would be if you've arrived at a situation where damages are, there is a case, damages are going to become an issue, that there are multiple ways to look at you know, kind of the economic value and consequences of trade secret misappropriation that, you know, there are with those different avenues, there's, you know, some flexibility in how, how you would look at each individual case. Um, and that probably the most important thing that you can be doing is communicating and understanding what are the different benefits, what are the different documents that exist, and how can you use that information in any given state to put together an analysis that's going to be supportable, that's going to be reflective of what the value of those trade secrets are. Um, because there are, if you're, if you're at the damages stage, there can certainly be large numbers that come in and large, large verdicts. So, so staying, staying on top of the damages side, once you have arrived at that situation is going to be really important.